probably the smallest piece of diving equipment you can ever buy, the OPV or overpressure release valve. Hi and welcome to another episode of Now Dive TV. In this episode we would like to go a little bit more in depth on the OPV or overpressure release valve. It is in fact a little bleed valve in place if you don't have any other way of intermediate pressure creeping up to go. So in short the OPV is on a low pressure port like this and let's say you have a regulator with no second stage, an argon a dry suit inflation or a feed hose for a, a Z system, UTD Z system side mount um, configuration, you don't have a second stage. Then if the first stage has a failure inside, meaning that it lets high pressure air come into the low pressure area of the first stage, it needs somewhere to go. Now normally what happens the second stage will just start bubbling because these second stages are downstream valves, most of them are. Um, and but as soon as the low pressure seat in here cannot cope with the, the creeping pressure, it'll start bleeding, it start bubbling. You probably all have seen this, that your second stage start bubbling. Usually it's because the overpressure is coming from the first stage. If you, however, don't have a second stage or any other downstream valve in this system, the pressure would just keep on building up and building up and building up. And the danger is that these hoses are just capable of doing 30 bar. The hose will burst. Or if you use, in this case, this is an oxygen bottle, the hose and the low pressure part of your regulator system will fill up with pure oxygen until it bursts or until it comes somewhere else where it cannot escape from and that can create a very dangerous situation. So an OPV is in fact a safety valve to let a faulty uh, first stage get rid of pressurized gas that is on the low pressure part of your first stage. In a few words a first stage is a very simple pressure regulator where the high pressure is reduced to an intermediate pressure of around about 9 bar depending on make and model. But in effect there is a spring loaded high pressure seat in here that you know um, allows gas, high pressure gas to fill up the low pressure area and then as soon as it has a, a preset uh, intermediate pressure of around about 9 bar the high pressure sheet closes again. Now if that high pressure sheet gets worn or breaks or fails or, or in one way or ever, potentially high pressure air can go to the low pressure part, filling the low pressure hoses. And like I said, these are only rated to 30 bar. So if you have a second stage, no problem. It'll just bleed out the second stage. If you don't have a second stage, you need an OPV. This second stage, as you can see, has a shutoff valve. And that is because this bottle is on because we use it to feed, in this case, the rebreather. So the rebreather gets oxygen from this QC6 coupling. Um, the reason we have a shutoff valve here and it's shut off is that this regulator is on and we don't want it to purge because we're scootering around or just because there is a small difference in pressure or whatever. We don't want this to be on. Also, we're going to take this below a depth when it's safe to breathe. Um, and we don't want this accidentally be taken by someone and start breathing off that don't know the function of this. But as soon as you engage the shutoff, you also stop this second stage from actually being a overpressure release valve. So in this case, you need one of these OPVs. I've seen people selling these uh, shutoff valves as free flow stoppers or free, free flow savers or whatever. Um, and that is potentially dangerous. You don't use it, it with an OPV because again, if you en encounter a free flow and it's coming from the second stage, like it's freezing inside here and it just keeps the valve open, 
Fair enough. Then you can shut it off and that's problem solved. You can thaw it up and, you know, maybe work again. But if the problem comes from the first stage and you then shut this off, probably what happened first, and I've seen this happen, is this plastic part, it'll just break and fly off. As soon as this goes, you have no solution anymore than to shut off the tank. So if you're using this on a single tank back mount situation, you're going to be in, in trouble because you're going to lose all your gas. It's just like cutting the hose in effect. If you, if this somehow lives, the hose will, you know, give in at some point. So use the OPV in combination with a, um, a shutoff valve and vice versa. So what if you're diving around and you can see this starts bubbling? Don't think this is the one that's broken because it's probably the first stage that's broken. So what you need to do is get it to a certified technician or if you have one of these intermediate pressure gauges yourself, hook that up to, the, to your regulator and see if the intermediate pressure is stable. As soon as you pressurize the, the first stage, the intermediate pressure should go up to this preset 8-9 bars and stay there. You can then perch your second stage and see it drops a little bit and comes back down to the 8 or 9 bar. If it slowly, slowly creeps up and up and up and up and up until your second stage starts blowing or until the OPV starts going, your first stage needs service. There's nothing wrong with your OPV. It's functioning as is supposed to. I've seen a lot of threads on internet forums and Facebook forums or, or pages that people say, hey, I have a problem with my OPV. I need an adjustable OPV so I can adjust the... the, the, the the pressure when it breaks because it keeps bubbling well it's the first stage problem your opv is working fine they in my experience it's very rare that they bubble below eight nine bar um and it's very easy test all dive shops and dive centers have these small intermediate pressure gauges and if you want to invest in your own they're very cheap so you can just hook that up usually to a um, normal low pressure inflator like you put on your bcd or your or your dry suit so you can test it so anyways, be careful when you use these free flow savers. And if you want one of these, you have to put one of OPVs on your first stage. But if you're a recreational diver or even a technical diver, I would suggest not to use these things as a free flow saver. If you're second stage free flows, go to your buddy, share air and exit the dive. If you're on a single tank, if you're a technical diver, your training probably taught you how to deal with that. Um, but these things are not meant to save from a free flow. We use these um, uh, shutoff valves, in, in this case, like, an ex like I explained before, and on rebreathers, uh, when we use manual add valves to, to stop uh, a valve that is stuck, or if we um, have it on a first stage that feeds, I don't know, a diluent and, and some kind of other um, uh, configuration of a rebreather. So shutoff valves are fine, but always make sure that your first stage has another outlet for intermediate pressure. All right. Well, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel down below, if you hit that little bell there, you can also get a notification every time we post a new video. And um, some changes are going to happen in this channel, so we're going to post more and more videos. Uh, on a more regular basis so stay tuned and uh, give a comment down below if you have any questions or comments to this video stay safe and see you out there